हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर इकोनॉमिक्स कोच प्रतीक भसीन बैक विथ मेजर्स ऑफ डिस्पर्जन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट रेंज एंड क्वार्टाइल डेविएशन इन दिस क्लास वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मीन डेविएशन फ्रॉम मीन एंड मीन डेविएशन फ्रॉम मीडियन नाउ वॉट इज मीन डेविएशन फ्रॉम मीन एंड मीडियन इन द अर्लियर क्लासेज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड अबाउट मीन एंड मीडियन वी हैव ऑल्सो अंडरस्टूड how to calculate mean and how to calculate median in today's class we will be discussing about the differences of the values in a series from a central value may it be mean may it be median and then averaging them this will give us mean deviations from mean or mean deviations from median so we have the formulas on the screen so the formula for individual series is sigma mod x minus x bar divided by n so x minus x bar represents the deviations from mean summing them up and dividing them by the number of items in the series will provide you with mean deviation from mean if i replace mean with median this will give me mean deviation from median similarly in discrete series the formula is sigma mod f bracket x minus x bar bracket mod upon sigma f similarly if i replace mean with median i'll get mean deviations from median in continuous series the formula is sigma mod f bracket mid value that is m minus mean bracket mod upon sigma f if i replace mean with median that is me this will give me mean deviation from median similarly to find out the coefficient of mean deviation from mean we have the formula mean deviation upon mean into 100 similarly if i replace mean with median i'll get the coefficient of mean deviation from median so let us first discuss the merits and demerits of calculating mean deviation from mean and median so i have the merits and demerits on the screen the first one is it is very easy to understand and simple to calculate so you can calculate the mean deviation very easily and it is very simple to understand similarly it is based on all observation and hence it is less affected by extreme values because while calculating mean or medium all the values are taken into account and hence it is less affected by extreme values similarly demerits of mean deviation are that it is not capable of for the algebraic treatment you cannot use the answers from mean deviation from mean or medium for further treatment similarly it is not suitable to use mean deviation from mean and mean deviation from median to calculate a answer for open ended series so mean deviation from mean and medium cannot be used for an open ended series so let's move ahead and practice some questions for mean deviation from mean and median so i have the first question on your screen under which we have to calculate the mean deviation from mean and median and their respective coefficient so this is a question of individual series under which we'll first have to arrange the series into ascending order this is because when we calculate median because it is a positional value we always have to arrange it in ascending order so let us first arrange it in ascending order so i have this series x so the smallest number is 6 followed by 10 followed by 26 then 28 30 and finally 32 so the total of this series would be 132 finding out its mean i get sigma x by n that is sum of all observations upon number of observation so i have the sum of all the observation that is 132 and the number of observation being 6 will give me a mean of 22 moving ahead let's calculate the mean deviations from mean so for that i'll have to calculate the deviations from mean so because my mean is 22 i have to calculate deviation that is the difference between the series and mean and take a mod value mod value means ignore the minus sign so this will be 16 i'll ignore the minus sign because we have the mod signs then 12 then 
4, then we have 6, then 8 and finally we have 10. Let us total them up. So, the total is 18, 24, 28, 40 and finally 56. So, this is the sum of all the deviations from mean. So, to calculate mean deviation from mean, we have the formula sigma mod x minus x bar upon n, n means the number of items. This calculates the mean of deviations. So, the sum of deviations being 56 and the number of observation being 6 will give me a mean deviation from mean of 9.33. Moving ahead, let us calculate the coefficient of mean deviation from mean. The formula for coefficient is mean deviation from mean upon mean into 100. So, let us apply the calculation, this will be 9.33 divided by 22 into 100. This would give me an answer of 42.409%. I can always round it off to the next digit. Now, let us calculate the median of the series. Because median is a positional value, first of all, we will have to calculate at what position does the median lies. So, the formula for calculating median is n plus 1 by 2th term. So, we have the number of terms being 6 plus 1 by 2th term will give me 3.5th term. Now, let us find out what is the 3.5th term. The first term is 6, the second term is 10, third term is 26, fourth is 28 and fifth and sixth respectively. So, because I have to calculate the 3.5th term, I will have to take the average of third and the fourth term. So, let us calculate. So, median would be the average between 26 and 28 because 26 is the third term and 28 is the fourth term. So, let us divide them by 2, I will get the answer as 27. This is the median. So, let us now calculate the deviations from median. So, I will apply the formula x minus median and all the values will be positive because I have used the mod sign. So, 27 minus 6 or 6 minus 27, this will give me 21. Then 10 minus 27, this will give me 17. 26 minus 27, this will give me 1. 28 minus 27, this will also give me 1. 30 minus 27 will give me 3 and 32 minus 27 will give me 5. Let us total them up. So, this is 38, 40 and 48. So, this will be 48. So, now let us calculate the mean deviation from median. So, mean deviation from median would be represented by the formula sigma x minus median upon n, n means the number of observation because the sum was 48 and the number of observation were 6, this will be 8. So, my mean deviation from median is 8. Always remember when the question is silent and asks you to calculate mean deviation, always calculate mean deviation from median. If the question expressly says that you have to calculate mean deviation from mean or median, then there is no confusion. But the confusion arises only when the question is silent and says that you have to calculate mean deviation. So, always prefer median over mean because the mean deviations from median are always the lowest. So, let us compare the mean deviation from mean was 9.33, but the mean deviation from median is 8. Hence, it is lower and hence it gives a lower value, lower deviation from a central value. Hence, median is always preferred over mean when calculating mean deviation. So, now let us calculate the coefficient of mean deviation from median. So, the formula is mean deviation from median upon median into 100. So, we have 8 upon 27 into 100. So, the answer for coefficient of mean deviation from median will be 29.692 percent. 
So, this will be my answer to this question. Now, let us move on to another question which represents a discrete series. So, we have this question on your screens which is x and f. So, it is a question for discrete series. So, first of all, let us calculate the mean and median for this question. So, we have x 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 and then we have the frequency 10, 8, 6, 4 and 2. Let us first calculate the mean for the following series. So, for calculating mean, first of all, we will have to multiply f and x. So, we have 100, 160, 180, 160 and 100. So, let us add them up. So, this will be 200, 320, 520 and 700. So, this will be my total for f x. Now, let us calculate the frequencies. So, 10 plus 8, 18, 24, 28 and 2, this will be 30. To calculate mean, I will have to use the formula sigma f x upon sigma f. This will be 700 by 30. So, my answer to this question will be 23.33. Now, let us calculate the median for the series. To calculate median, we will first have to cumulate the frequencies which is C f. So, 10 plus 8, 18 plus 6, 24 plus 4, 28 plus 2 which will be 30. Now, let us calculate the median for the series. To calculate median, we will be using the formula n plus 1 by 2th term. So, because we have 30 terms in this question, so this will be 30 plus 1 by 2 that is 15.5th term. Now, this 15.5th term would lie in the cumulative frequency of 18, so which is represented by 20. So, the median to this question will be 20. Now, let us calculate the mean deviations from mean and mean deviations from median. So, to calculate this, we will first have to find out the difference between x and mean. So, we have 23.33 as the mean and I have 10 as the x. So, we will have 13.33, 3.33, then we have 6.67, 16.67 and finally, we have 26.67. Now, we have to multiply these deviations with the frequency. So, to make things simpler for you, I have already calculated the values of f multiplied by the deviations from mean. So, I have already got a total of 319.98. How did I get that? So, I got 133.3 from 13.33 into 10. Then 26.64 was derived by multiplying 3.33 with 8. Similarly, multiplying 6.67 with 6, I got 40.02. Similarly, by multiplying 4 with 16.67, I got 66.68 and finally, by multiplying 26.67 with 2, I got the answer as 53.34. By adding all these values, I got 319.98. So, let us move ahead and calculate mean deviation from mean. So, we have the sigma f multiplied by the deviations from mean divided by the sigma f. So, the answer to this will be 319.98 divided by 30. This would give me an answer of 10.66. Moving ahead, let us calculate the coefficient of mean deviation from mean. So, we have mean deviation from mean upon mean into 100. So, we get mean deviation from mean as 10.66, the mean was 23.33 and let us multiply this by 100. So, the answer will be 45.69 percent. So, now let us calculate median. So, median was 20. Now, let us calculate the difference between median and the series. So, we have x minus median. So, this will be as our median is 20. So, the difference between x and median. 
So, this will be 10, 0, 10, 20 and 30. Now, let us multiply frequencies with the differences between the series and median. So, we have f mod x minus median. So, the answer to this will be 100, 0, 60, 80 and finally, 60. So, the total to this will be 100 plus 120, 220 and 300. Now, let us calculate the mean deviations from median. So, the formula to this is sigma f x minus median divided by sigma f divided by sigma f. So, the answer to this will be 300 divided by 30. This gives me an answer of 10. Now, let us calculate the coefficient. So, the answer to coefficient will be mean deviation from median upon median into 100. So, this will be 10 upon 20 into 100, this will be 50 percent. So, the coefficient will be 50 percent and the median mean deviation from median is 10. I hope you understood this question. Now, let us move on to the next question, which is the question of continuous series. So, we have this continuous series with us. So, let us first calculate the mean and median of the series. So, we have the weekly wages represented by the term class intervals. So, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, 60 to 80 and finally, 80 to 100. So, first of all, let us calculate the mid values. This will be 30, 50, 70 and finally, 90. Let us write the frequencies. So, it will be 2, 4, 3 and 1. Let us calculate the multiplication of f and m. So, this will be 60, 200, 210 and 90. So, the total to this will be 300, 500 and 560. Also, let us calculate the total of frequencies. So, the total of frequencies is 10. So, the mean will be sigma f m upon sigma f that is 560 divided by 10 this will be 56. Let us also calculate the median for the series. To calculate median, we will have to use the formula n by 2th term, which will be 10 by 2 that is the 5th term. To calculate the 5th term, we will first have to use the cumulative frequencies of the series. So, we have 2, 2 plus 4, 6, plus 3, 9 and plus 1 will be 10. Now, fifth term would lie in the cumulative series 6 and hence the median class would be 40 to 60. So, let us locate the median class, so which is 40 to 60. Now, let us apply the formula for median which is L1 plus n by 2 minus Cf upon F into Ia. So, L1 is the lower limit plus n by 2, which is the fifth term. Cf of the previous was 2. So, we have 2 and frequency of the present class. So, frequency of the present class is 4. So, divide by 4 and the class interval denoted by H or I or the class gap is 20. So, let us write the answer for this. So, 3 upon 4 into 20, this will give us 5. So, the answer to median will be 55. So, our mean is 56 and our median is 55. Now, let us calculate the differences from mean and median. So, let us calculate the differences from mean first. So, we have m minus x bar. So, we use m in place of x as in discrete series, we used x, we will be using m in continuous series. So, we have mean as 56. So, let us calculate the differences between the mid value and the mean. 
So, this will be 26, this will be 6, this will be 14 and this will be 34. Now, let us multiply the frequencies with the difference between mid values and the mean. So, this will be 52, this will be 24, this will be 42 and finally, 34. Now, let us add this up. So, we have 52 plus 24 which will be 76, then we have 42 which will be 118 and then we have 34 which will be 152. So, the total to this will be 152. Now, let us calculate the mean deviation from mean. So, the formula to this will be sigma f m minus x bar that is deviations from mean multiplied with the frequency upon sigma f. So, this will be 152 by 10 that is 15.2. Let us also calculate the coefficient of mean deviation from mean. So, the formula to this is mean deviation from mean upon mean into 100. So, this will be 15.2 into 100 divided by 56. So, the answer to this will be 27.14 percent. Now, let us move on to the mean deviation from median part. So, first of all, let us calculate the differences between the mid value and the median. So, we have the median as 55. So, let us calculate the differences from the mid values. So, we have 30 and 55. So, this will be 25, this will be 5, this would be 15 and finally, it would be 35. Let us multiply it with frequencies. So, f m minus median. So, we get 2 into 25 that is 50, 4 into 5 that is 20, 3 into 15 that is 45 and 35 into 1 which will be 35 again. So, we have 35 plus 45 which is 80 plus 20, 100 plus 50 that is 150. So, now let us calculate the mean deviation from median which is sigma f m minus median upon sigma f which will be 150 divided by 10 hence the answer to this will be 15. Now, let us finally calculate the coefficient of mean deviation from median. So, this will be mean deviation from median upon median into 100. So, the answer to this will be 15 into 100 divided by 55. So, the answer to this will be 27.27 percent. So, this is where my question ends and I hope you were able to get through this topic. I request you all to practice all the questions from your text and do well. I will see you in the next class. Till then, please stay safe and take care.